Hey, welcome back to Mr. News Art Class. It's wonderful to see your smiling faces today. In this video, I'm just using my Copics here to draw a moonlit river scene with some forest and mountains in the middle and background. Started off with the moon, making it big and blue and bright, and uh, a deep purple sky. Now why did I do a purple sky instead of a black sky? Because eventually I'm using the black to make those trees that overlap the sky. And I wanted those to be able to be visible. But I did want the sky to be nice and dark, so I went over it with a, a second and a third pass with the purple marker to make it as, uh, as dark as I could get it. For this first mountain, I, uh, or for the distant mountain, I wanted it to be darker than the one that's uh, in the middle ground. And uh, so for this background mountain, I, I used several different layers. Ran out of green there, had to go get another green. Uh, but I went over it with some purple to make it darker and then more, more green again. Uh, and then for the for, sort of middle ground mountain here, uh, I didn't use the purple. I did all the same layers, but no purple. So it's uh, still dark because it's nighttime, but not as dark. And then I did some beachy shore, which uh, darkened up because it is nighttime, and uh, some rocks. Um, I didn't use gray. Uh, I'll talk about that in a little bit, but I'm, I'm limiting myself on the colors here. Um, and then I uh, wanted to make sure I mimic some of those sky colors down into the water as well. So with the purple and, and some green too to reflect. Adding some white highlights here just to give it that oomph and uh, some detail into the moon. So this drawing was made entirely with the following supplies. First I have my set of uh, primary Copic markers. This is the set of six perfect primaries. Next I have the set of six secondary colors and I have the set of six skin tones. In addition to those three sets I did use the black, the colorless blender, and a pencil and a uh, white gel pen. Now I do have more than just these colors but I limited myself to these supplies because these are the supplies that I'll be using when I teach my summer art camps this summer, at which this will be one of the drawings that we make. If you want more information about that summer camp or if you want to register, go to mrnew.com or look at the link in the description below. It's open to all ages, anyone in the North Alabama area. If you like this drawing or this video, hit the thumbs up down below. If you want to see more like it, smash that subscribe button, click the bell for notifications.